What's going on guys? My name is Jason Pike, former US Navy SEAL and Chief Instructor here at Frogman Tactical. Today I'm gonna go over what I run on my battle belt. All right guys, so let's get into it. All right, my belt of choice is by One Shot Industries. It's stiff yet flexible enough that it's comfortable. It attaches to the EDC belt that I'm wearing right now. My gloves that I like are Oakley Tactical SIs. All right, run a carabiner, you see a lot of these. Extra pair of ear pro if something happens to my ear muffs. Keep in mind that this particular belt is designed for CQB. If I were gonna do land warfare or something of that nature, the entire setup would change, all right? Kershaw, I believe it's 3200, all right? Out the front. I'm not a knife fighter again, so if I pull that out, it's probably to eat cheesecake or something in that manner. All right, for my holster, Safari Land ALS Mid-Rise. This is a good feature. The holster can come off if you have multiple guns and platforms you like to run. You can change it out fairly easy without spending more money. Very basic med kit. My theory and concepts are stop the bleeding, stabilize the injured, and prepare to transport. All right. Rifle weapons catch. This is a very handy tool for law enforcement and military. We'll go into this in a later video. Magazine pouches. I'm running HSGI. There are a lot of good ones out there. G Code's another good company. All right, the reason why I'm uh, having a double stacked right here is because of my waist size. I don't have any more room. You can get a kangaroo double stack or just basically an inline. All right. This is my particular setup of working in the tactical realm for almost 15, 16 years. So that's what I like. Another option that Mike runs is. One Shot Industries as well, Safari Land ALS Mid-Rise, just a different color and uh, for a different weapon platform. All right, STAC Kiwi magazine pouches. I've actually never seen these, but um, I might look into checking them out, running them for a little while and see how they work. They look pretty sturdy. T-Rex arms and tourniquet. All right, I run a tourniquet in my pocket on the range. He runs it here on his med pouch, just personal preference. And he likes pigskin gloves. All right, these look similar to the Oakley SIs. Um, there's a lot of options out there. I can tell you that you will go through thousands of dollars worth of gear and uh, you're probably gonna change it even more as you advance in your uh, training, all right? Hope you guys liked it. That was awesome. I wish you would have kept going. All right. That was, that was a good one. One of those three is going to work. One of them is going to work. Right, cool. Let's, Let's hope. Get some shooting. Let's get to some shooting, baby. That's and cool. record. You're, you're Go. <laughs>